Hey guys, my name is Matt Cario. I'm the Director of Discipleship here at Our Savior. And today I'm joined by some good friends, Jeff and Rachel Patterson, and we are going to discuss some about the importance of receiving in disciple-making relationships. So, Jeff and Rachel, welcome. Yeah, thank Thanks you for, for having, having us. us. Yes. Yeah, I'm so glad you're here. And so let's just jump right into it. Uh, first question that we wanted to talk about today was, what does receiving the services or the gifts of others do uniquely to a relationship? I think it creates a sense of community and also uh, give joy to those who are giving to us. I remember the times when we were in Indonesia in the villages where the villagers would serve us whatever meager food they have and uh, it humbles me that they give what they have and it gives them joy to see that we are receiving from them whatever they can give to us. Yeah, I think too, if, um, if we accept an invitation say to dinner at a neighbor's house, um, it honors them but also um, they're more at ease in their own home. Um, they're comfortable, relaxed. We might feel a little bit on edge, um, but that's good because we're the ones who want to share God's love with them. And when they're in a setting, their own home setting, they can relax and be themselves. And um, I think it just opens more, more doors. And also it shows that God is doing something. If they're offering well, maybe to help uh, more lawn if we're going to be gone on vacation or a meal. Um, there's something going on. And I think it's important to recognize God might be at work. And mm -hmm. uh, it honors them uh, to say, yes, um, I would appreciate your help. All right. So just from the little bit you shared, a few things that come out of that. One, uh, the joy that comes from giving. Yes. We don't want to rob people of that. We don't yes. want to take that from them. That's right. We also don't want to shut down or, or say no to what the Spirit might be doing in That's those right. people. That's yeah. right. And, and then the third thing with that is uh, we, we also want to make it allows us to have a relationship that's on our, all of our terms, not just my terms. That's right. right. Awesome. Awesome. That is, that is incredibly impactful stuff. Very good. Thanks. So one of the things that we talk about here at Our Savior all the time is disciple-making relationships, that we have a goal of developing disciple-making relationships with people so that they might know Jesus. Now, when it comes to developing disciple-making relationships, can that exist if we're not receiving? I mean, help us, help us fill that out about how does receiving lead into a, a disciple-making relationship? I think it will be difficult if we don't receive because in a discipleship making relationships it requires trust uh, mm -hmm. from the part of the disciple maker and also the ones that are being discipled. So. I think mutual trust is very important. Um, people want to know, do you like me and can I trust you? Mm -hmm. um, if they want to go into a deeper level of relationship. And it requires um, vulnerability. For both parties it's not just I'm gonna teach you it's um, we're sharing together on this journey of how can we grow mm -hmm. in Christ um, and I might be further along in that journey but we both need each other that's how God has designed it that we need community we need people it's not an individual journey mm. so so if we have the goal in our in our congregation of making this, having dis disciple making relationships the answer the, the short answer is no to this question <laughs> that's right but that but it's a little little more intricate in that uh, trust is what's essential but it's developed by the receiving yes. uh, from one another and and to do so in a way that's vulnerable being willing to share openly about who you are with others that's right yeah I think it's critical to share our own journey um, our own struggles mm -hmm. and how the Lord has helped us through that. That's right. All right, guys. So maybe there's people who have been listening to this conversation and they are still thinking, that's all good. I don't like receiving, but 
if I did want to try this, what's the first step for, for that type of person? Well, I know it sounds like a cl cliche, but really the first step is praying. Um, mm -hmm. Praying for our neighbors, um, praying for our neighborhood, and just asking God to open doors. Um, it's sometimes surprising and amazing the simple things that happen when we pray. And I think one of the uh, obstacles uh, that we need to overcome in our lives is fear. Mm -hmm. the, the fear of uh, uh, making relationship where we will be vulnerable. And I think one way to overcome that besides praying is to maybe bring a friend along uh, and to building this relationship so that we are not alone and that we have others uh, in this uh, relationship with us. That could be very helpful. Okay, so it's it's not simply just a um, just start, but it it's starting with the way that we think and asking God to to change the way we think, kind of rather than uh, just saying like, "Hey, I'm going to go receive today and just no. try this out." But uh, and so that's the first step, really, is is saying, "Hey, God, can can you help me see things like you see them?" Can you help me see others the way you see them? That's right. Yeah. And to be aware of that. Yeah. And to never go alone. If if you're fearful, yes. a friend is always a good thing to have. That's yeah. right. That's good. I'm reminded um, about seeing people the way God sees them. There's really only two kind of people in the world. Um, sons and daughters who have been adopted by the Heavenly Father or orphans that are waiting to be adopted. Mm. Yeah, and that's, it's a great example of, of this is how God can change the way we view the world to see it through His eyes and not, not simply through our own. Yeah. Well, Jeff and Rachel, I just want to say thank you for joining us today. This has been a lot of fun, and we could continue to talk about this. Uh, but I, I love the ministry that you guys um, are doing overseas and that you come back, you share it with us, and we get to, to share in the, the fellowship of Christ together. So. Thank you guys so much. Thank Thanks, you. Matt.